It is the optimism of, you know, winter is passing and it's becoming spring again. New life, more snowdrops to enjoy. This funny one here is Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. My friends generally will bring me a snowdrop as a present, so that's how over the years I've uh, amassed such a big collection. I have some 400 now, but the latest national collection holder has some thousands. I think the term that's most used by uh, the galanthophiles is it's an obsession. And, and I suppose it is. It's very difficult indeed, so I have to be obsessed to do it. <laughs> Absolutely. I've got to be warm enough to start. <laughs> and I don't even well have to keep coming and getting warm enough in order to keep going. Oh dear, it's not coming up very straight. Here are some of the differences that you see in Snowdrop. The petals come out at different angles. Do you see? Those are some of the finer details that make them different. Is that one of the joys? Yes, of course. It's excitement. <laughs> you may have a different snowdrop. <laughs> but the purity of the flower, the shape of the flower, is what one's looking for, and to my mind. And that is really exemplified in most snowdrops. Bye.